Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, Jack Sargent. I'm the Programme Director of the Revelation Perth International Film Festival. So I've been Programme program Director of uh, the festival for three years. It's my third year. And I watch hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of films. And from those hundreds, I wheel it down to... I think it's 16 features, 16 documentaries, five or six special events, uh, about 55 shorts. I think in terms of films that have inspired me this year, uh, the ones that may be the most inspiring are the ones that people make for hardly any money, but they still do it because they believe in what they're doing. And so what I find important about film, and what makes me choose a film, is that kind of energy behind it. Like, I love that. I love it when you see that somebody's put sweat into something, even if it's not perfect aesthetically or whatever. You can tell that passion they have for filmmaking. I think, I think you see that a lot uh, in, the, in the general content of the films we screen at Rev, is that kind of passionate filmmaking. I mean, for this year, for Revelation, uh, one of the films that really stuck with me was uh, a documentary film called Cropsy, about uh, urban mythology and true crime, which is quite a haunting film. And we have a really good film called uh, A Town Called Panic, which is an animation about a cowboy, an Indian and a horse. It's from Belgium, it's just a crazy animation film. There's a film called A Hundred Mornings, which is out of uh, Ireland, which is about, uh, I guess, the breakdown of civilization, but it's all shot in it, like a farmhouse, basically. And these two couples who've retreated there and the break of civilization collapsing. It's very narrative-driven, it's very actorly, it's very beautifully shot. But it excuse all the stuff we expect from like an apocalyptic film. There's no explosion or anything. It's all about people, which I think is really interesting. And all about acting, which I think is really important. And in terms of documentaries, we've also got things like uh, Double Take, which is this uh, wild documentary that is about uh, Alfred Hitchcock and the Cold War and all these other things. It's kind of mixes them together. It's an experimental documentary. I love that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this, all those things, you know, they all affect me in a certain way and maybe choose them. When I'm putting, putting the films together, there's a number of filmmakers who you watch their films and you think, oh, this is a filmmaker who's really interesting, it's their first film, it's done a lot, or they've got a long established career and they're saying certain things, so you find them up and see if they're available. So with like this year we've got uh, Jennifer Mass, who directs Needles Groove, which is a film about the Seattle soul music scene, and it's like, no one knows about Seattle soul music, it's not like a known thing, and she's unearthed all this stuff and made this film. It seems to me pertinent to get her over. She's also an emerging producer of Soul in America, so another reason to get her over. And then we've got people like uh, John Reese who's coming over to do a two day long workshop about uh, marketing and digital film and so on, which is, yeah. You know, and, that, and that's, you know, it's good to be able to bring someone like that over and to share his skills and his knowledge with local filmmakers throughout Australia. Other filmmakers we've got coming over, you know, uh, they're going to sit on panels and talk. Uh, both weekends as filmmakers talking, panels are introducing their films. This is it's good and obviously this is the bar, the cinema and everyone hangs out here. And it's to get the local film community, local audiences as well. I'm not trying to snob you or anything, but everyone who's local come rocks up and go and talk to these people. We're not saying, oh they're special guests, you can't come. It's like all come in and it's all talk about movies. I think this year's Rev programme, what it does, it offers people there's all kinds of films. There's stuff that's like little themes going on, like we've got two science fiction musicals for example, we've got films about journalism, we've got films about music, we've got films about African American culture, and we've got films with big budgets and films with no budgets, you know. And I think that what they all share is that they're all expressive and they're all interesting. There's all kinds of things happening. Uh, and I think that, that everyone can you know, go on the internet and look and see stuff that will inspire them. Uh, and I mean, in the end, that's all you can do is you can say to people, look, we're screening these films, it'd be really good if you come along and see something you would enjoy. I also think that, you know, maybe just coming along and, and seeing a film and not liking it. You, the pleasure of Revelations, you can come up to me at the bar and say, well, I disagree with what you said about that film. And that's great, I and mean, we'll talk about it. You know, it's not that I want everyone to come along and moan at me, but you know what I mean? It's like, that there is an interface, there's a discussing about what cinema is. You know, cause it, you can go to a multiplex and eat popcorn and watch, you know, whatever, every day of the week. But what you get for two weeks here, you get the chance to watch stuff you might never get to see again. Hang out, talk about films and meet filmmakers. And hang out and have a beer with your friends. I, I can't see anything better than that really, you know. I think that's what, what it should be about. To me, that's, 
the most important thing. Hanging out, talking crap about movies, having a couple of glasses of wine, watching some films with some people and having a good time.